Hi, Chris here with a super modern looking futuristic e-bike. This smart e-bike is from Joyam. It's called their e-bike X, and it's a model that does have built-in 4G support, GPS, anti-theft, so if I was to move this without unlocking it, it would set off an alarm, and it does have full app support with the bike. It has a rear hub motor, and you'll see that it's got this belt drive here. Now, the belt drive is from a company called Top Trans. It's carbon belt drive, so that means we have no gears, but we don't have any maintenance, no chain to oil. Now, this motor's maximum output is 350 watts with the US version and 250 watts with the EU model. And we've got brakes from Zoom. They are their x -Tech. Now, this is a hydraulic caliper, but it is still cable pull. The bike comes with these row tires from CST. They are 700 by 40C, the size of them. The pedals are some lightweight plastic pedals, and we do have our torque sensor. It's using the MyVice system for the torque sensor and the motor. I've seen this on many other belt-driven e-bikes. So what gives the bike its real modern look is this frame design here. You can see that there's no support beam here. It's this part that is reinforced now, and we do have a removable battery. It's a Samsung cell battery, 10 amp hours, and they do claim the range is 80 to 100 kilometers. You also notice that the bike looks quite sleek because the cabling is all internally routed within the frame, so we don't have any ugly looking cables on the outside of it like you do with some other e-bikes. And you would have noticed this around the outside. So it has this ambient light strip. You can configure it via the application. It also acts as our left and right indicators. And it's very good at night to increase your visibility. As you can see now, it's super bright. And it's cycling now just through a demo of all the different colors that it can display this ambient light strip. So not only does it make it look modern, it really does add to your improved visibility when riding around on the road. Incorporated into the frame, we do have a rear tail light. You can set this to be always on via the app if you wanted to do so. And a very powerful five LED headlamp. As you can see, it lights up the path of you. So I really do like the fantastic lighting that the E-Bike X comes with. So the battery does take about four to five hours to charge. And when you fit it in place here, it is locked within there. There is uh, some buttons here on the bike here to unlock and lock it. So there's no physical lock and key, it's all done via the bike itself and the application to lock and unlock the bike. The seat that Joyam has selected does have a nice amount of padding to it. It is comfortable. Now you can raise and drop the height of it, but you will need an Allen key because it is screwed into place. There is no quick release with this particular seat post. The bike does cater to rider heights of 170 centimeters to 190 centimeters, and the weight of it is 24 kilos. It does have NFC support. We've got our power button right here, and this handlebar, this is non-height adjustable. Unfortunately, we cannot drop or raise the height of this. So the bike is using its own grips here. They're kind of like a lock grip style because they do not spin around. They are comfortable and the brake levers do feel good. And you can see we do have a bell here. So a great day to be testing out the super ultra modern looking bike here. And I do like the different style of it, the frame. It certainly stands out. It's been getting a lot of attention. I've had a lot of people stop and talk to me, ask me what e-bike is that? Uh, so if you're after that in a bike, then you'll definitely have it. But if you don't want the attention, then maybe it's not the kind of bike you want to get here. So what is it like to ride? Now, the riding position, it caters to 170 to 190 centimeter height riders. So it's like a large frame size. And I find that I'm in a mostly upright position here riding. Now, remember, you cannot adjust the handlebar height. That is completely fixed here. And the handlebar width is reasonably short here, but it's not too bad. Overall, it is comfortable. Now, the torque sensor, I've got it in the pedal assist level. Uh, three at the moment so we've got one two and three and up to 25 kilometers per hour and when you start to pedal the more you give it the more it will give you in return with that torque sensor and the torque sensor by the way gives you that power straight away very smooth power delivery and you really don't hear the motor at all so it's 350 watts with the US version and 250 with the Euro version to remain legal of course and riding here very smooth indeed. So you may occasionally hear some rattle coming from the bike. That is the kickstand. It does make a little bit of noise now and then. Now top speed up to 25 kilometers per hour with the EU version that I have. 
and I can happily ride up to around about 32 kilometers per hour top speed and of course once you go over 25 the motor does cut out and you're on your own pedal power but the way it's geared with the single gear the large 700c wheels it's very comfortable for cruising around on the road and now for the climb test so this is about a 20 degree climb now we've got 40 newton meters of torque and up to 350 watts with the international version or the us version and 250 with the eu version now i'm pedaling here and going up at a reasonably good rate and this is working out to be a lot better than i expected considering it's just a single speed but i'm now having to put where it gets a little bit steeper right here a lot more effort into this so the climbing performance i would rate as average in fact above average for single speed and at 250 watts so it's going okay but i really do need to put quite a bit of effort into this now if i turn the pedal assist off completely it then becomes oh very difficult i need to stand up and power through this in fact wow that's really almost impossible so emergency braking test from 30 kilometers per hour from the white post one two three okay not bad i made it to this post here reasonably good braking performance so it's 160 millimeter disc brakes now it's a hydraulic caliper but it still is a cable pull system so this is definitely a bike you want to keep to those commutes that are just on mostly flat areas so it is going to be a great city commute bike something that's very modern of course with the gps the anti-theft tracking geolocation geofencing all of that means you can lock the bike down you can track it too as well as long as it has battery power that is you'll be able to track and follow wherever your bike is so gentle little climbs like this not a problem it's just those very steep climbs you are going to get a workout and here is our application so it's not the final version of the app but this is just to give you an idea so you'll see our remaining battery life the speed you can lock and unlock the bike via the application. You've got our pedal assist levels right here, some information on your ride, uh, quick controls here. So setting the units between miles, kilometers, movement alarm, the LED switch, your headlight, and the inductive unlock right there. Riding history and a few other things here. So you can locate where the bike is anywhere because it's transmitting as long as that battery is in it it's got the gps and the 4g it will transmit its location to you so geolocation uh, go now vehicle info battery info as mentioned before it's using samsung cells and down here we just have a ranking thing social a few other features your own profile and there are some settings in here so it's a useful application with a lot of different functions now the range of the e-bike X, they do claim to be about 52 to 60 miles or around about 80 to 100 kilometers. Now I can see that riding around on the flat that you should be able to get around about at least 80 kilometers out of this bike with the carbon belt drive. And then when you ride over 25 kilometers per hour, of course, you're not even touching and using it 10 amp hour battery. So this is a fantastic, very futuristic looking bike and really do love this ambient light strip around the outside especially at nighttime how bright it is and all the customization different colors that it can show is great that with the uh, built-in front headlight the tail light it is quite a safe nighttime riding bike you've got the indicators there as well now it is great having the 4g connectivity with it so it's using an eSIM, the 4g modem it's got gps and you can even set up geofencing and you've got that anti theft function and even tracking where the bike's location is. All very good. And I do like the fact that the battery pack here is locked in to the bike and it cannot just be removed because of its locking mechanism that it does have. Now areas of improvement. Well, the braking performance I would rate as good. It's above average compared to some of the other bikes I've tested out, but I would like to see a proper full hydraulic system when it comes to the brakes. It is hydraulic, the caliper, but the rest of it is cable, cable pull for it. And why they've done that, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's the way that they've routed the cables through it, but hydraulic, they should still be able to do that. Anyway, the climbing performance of the bike is a lot better than the other carbon belt drive e-bikes that I have reviewed, because they're about 250 watts. This one's 350, the maximum. And I believe I do actually have the 350 watt version here. Now, after those climbing tests, it cannot be the 250 
because it does climb just so much better than the others, even though they basically get up the same with that single speed, which of course is the downside to this bike. So you don't have a chain that you need to maintain. You have to uh, lubricate it, they're messy and all that, but you've only just got that single speed. So if you've got huge climbs, hills around you, you're gonna have to work quite hard with this particular bike and you will certainly get fit. But for those city commutes, A to B, really loving this bike here. So thanks so much for watching my review of the Joy M e-bike X.